energy medicine. I'm Dr. Cecil Cockerham. I want to share a few thoughts about energy medicine. You follow me for any time. You know I'm interested in energy medicine, energy psychology, quantum ideas, and true spirituality. I've been studying these protocols since 1995 because I had a counseling, coaching, and mentoring ministry. Many people came to me with severe emotional problems. I had to do some research to find a way to understand them better and to give them something that gave them a little hope and healing. Energy medicine was a way of doing that. What I learned through the process was that it actually helped people because the body's energy systems and pathways are energies, natural energies that God has provided for holistic health. In ancient wisdom traditions, energy medicine gives a holistic approach to help hope and healing. These have gained tremendous popularity since 1995 when I became involved in learning more about them. They're very prominent in many areas where they promote physical, mental, and emotional well-being, which is good. I've watched the transition from no one understanding much about them to people using these protocols, even in the mainstream holistic approaches. Energy medicine recognizes the role of energy in our health and provides individuals with the power to actively manage and participate in their healing journey. This means that by understanding the concepts I'm discussing today, you can seize control of your health rather than relying on someone else who may not fully comprehend your needs. This information delves into the myriad benefits of energy medicine and its potential to restore the healthcare system we urgently need. Restoring the balance of the body system is essential. It's the core concept of energy medicine the belief that energy flows through the body. The body impacts our overall health. That's just the truth. Practitioners utilize techniques like acupuncture and energy healing to replace imbalances in these energy pathways. It's as simple as that. Disease occurs when the balance is off and we need to balance it back. By rebalancing this energy through these different energy systems, we can bring the body back to health. Energy medicine can alleviate pain, reduce stress, and optimize psychological processes. It's just the way it happens. I've experienced this repeatedly in my own life and with clients who came to me for help with open healing. Research has shown that energy therapies stimulate the production of endorphins, and they fulfill those states, relaxation leading to reduced anxiety levels and how we need a reduction in anxiety levels today because of the climate that we're living in. There's just so much stress going on, so much havoc that's going on. And this is a good point to learn a little bit more about energy medicine that would perhaps be a jump start for you in learning. It also enhances the body's natural healing abilities. It recognizes that the body possesses an innate ability to heal itself. It's just how God has planned to make mankind as it is. It can heal itself by removing energy blockages. Here's the key. Removing energy blockages optimizes energy flows and augments. The body's natural healing mechanisms by addressing the issues at the root cause. Bad roots produce bad fruit. If you follow me at any time, you've heard me talk about that concept. Bad roots will give bad fruit. I'm a country boy who learned that from experience. It's just a fact of life. When we acknowledge and address the root cause, we address the symptom below and get to the real problem. Techniques such as therapeutic touch and acute pressure help stimulate these body energy responses and promote optimum organ function. This response promotes optimum organ function and supports the immune system. When we deal with a bad root, we can get better fruit. Energy medicine also enhances the effectiveness of other medical interventions, complementing conventional treatments. We're not replacing conventional treatments. We're helping to support them. We do this to help conditions such as chronic pain, cancer, and autoimmune diseases and disorders. Promoting mental and emotional well-being plays a significant role in our overall health with imbalances, and that eliminates physical ailments. 
energy medicine is very important to balance our emotional systems, which right now, because of the havoc going on around the world, makes people just stressed out. So if you're stressed out, this might be good for you to learn about energy medicine, which I've been talking about since 1995. We become holistically better when we release these energy imbalances linked to traumatic experiences. That's just the word I use, and I think it describes it very well because these disturbances and negative emotions cause havoc in the body physically, emotionally, and mentally. Many people have these blockages. Let me tell you a few things that cause a blockage that I call trapped emotions because of the traumatic events that happened in your life. These emotions have an emotional blockage. Operation in the body causes an emotional blockage. How about a car accident? An automobile accident where you were seriously injured? Well, that's a problem. What about a painful divorce? How about losing a business? Maybe a decline in the market will cause you to lose your business. Some people even take their lives because they lost their business because of shame. You see, many things cause these blockages, these trapped emotions, as I described them, because that's what they are. If you have these problems, find somebody who can help you like I can. I've been a coach counselor and mentor since 1989. I've got a couple of doctorate degrees and a stack of certifications. And I think maybe I can give you just a few tips and techniques from my education and experience. Since I've been doing this for a while, that can help you move through these blocked emotional things that cause havoc in your life. Stressors are another way to say it. I developed a technique called emotional freedom through Christ. I used them with my clients, particularly in 1997-98, as they came to my office for help, hope, and healing. I've developed this protocol for use with clients. So if you need a coaching call, we can use emotional freedom through Christ. It is non-invasive, easy to do, and easy to learn, and it can change your life in just moments. I know of a lady who used the technique on herself because of her daughter who died some 36 years ago. She had grieved over the death of this child for about 36 years, as I said. She's used it on herself, and in just minutes, she was well and free. So if you have a blockage, emotional, or traumatic event, email me for a coaching call. Contact me at Dr. Silsel at teachtruth.net. That's right, Dr. Cecil for a coaching session. Perhaps I could give you a few tips and techniques that I've been using for a long, long time that can help you. We can reduce anxiety and depression to correct these emotional imbalances. We have a holistic approach for better emotional well-being. I'm not trying to replace seeing your physician. I never say that, but maybe my approach could help facilitate stress reduction and relaxation that allow you to get rid of some of your stress and anxiety.